Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're going to have a look at Windbound. This is going to be a review for it. And to guys, I have to tell you the truth. I have a little bit of buyer's remorse with this game. I was hoping and I was praying. I was like, hey, I hope this is going to be an awesome, wonderful experience. But yeah, I have buyer's remorse and I just have to be honest with you. This game had so much potential and maybe I went into it with a little bit of a... Uh, expectancy that I shouldn't have. Uh, maybe I came in with, um, I don't know, the wrong mindset, but when I started looking at some of the streams that these guys were playing it before it released, I was like, oh, that's so cool. Like, you can look at the coral reef, and my mind just started going. I was like, oh, we're going to be able to, like, put a knife between our teeth, go and dive underneath the water, go and explore the reefs and everything, but yeah, they, they missed out on a great opportunity. Um, guys this is a, a game that i was rooting for i love the art style i love the way it looks but uh, honestly it was just a horrible experience and guys i had to give this a four out of ten so much potential loss so much potential that could have been but there's really nothing here all right guys well let's find out why so maybe it was a little bit of expectancy i don't know maybe i had high expectations um I, like I said, I saw the corals. I was like, oh, I just started dreaming. I'm like, oh, they're going to be diving for treasure. We're going to be hunting and survival. There's nothing here. Yes, maybe I had the wrong idea. I saw the little a paraglider, the hang glider, kind of like in the Breath of the Wild and kind of in uh, like Genshin Impact. And I was like, oh, this is going to be so cool. The end of the game, the last chapter, there's nothing at these islands i mean there was so much room for improvement there was so much that it could have done i'm going to show you the last the very last sequence uh, that is a uh, fmb this is a full motion video it's a cut scene and that's the most emotion that you get out of this game oh my goodness like every time you know, all you have to do is jump from island to island to island um three different times lighting these uh let's just call them bonfires or light light towers like in lord of the rings that's all you do five different times so at least 15 times and I say at least because 15 is what you're gonna need to go ahead and finish up this game I died multiple times at stuff that wasn't my fault I'm falling off the uh, the ship or the boat and uh, you know I lose one of the times I lose energy so I just pass out and I die in the water this game has so much potential it just I, you know when it's windbound but along the way it lost the wind in its sails and never got out of the kitty pool, the shallow end. Uh, this game just, it was horribly executed. It has a wonderful, beautiful art style. I have to give it that. But like I said, this game just never gets out of the shallow end, never gets out of the kitty pool, never takes off its training. Um, uh, what do they call those trainers to swim with? <laughs> it just never does any of that. Like I said, this game has so much potential. Right here, I'm being a little bit cinematic with the uh, with the ship or the boat. You can build up different levels. They should have done something with this. They should have been able to make this like a rolling. Um, I forgot the name of those like cities that you can like they can pick up and just walk and go everywhere else. They should have done that with this game. They should have done that with this idea of this uh, boat where you can put all sorts of different things on there. You should have had way more. Um, la they just didn't have any space for anything, and they everything that you're trying to collect just there was an abundance um look at this uh, like i said this is the last island the last chapter i mean at the very beginning of the last chapter chapter five you go there there's nothing at this island this is over and over and over again a game that has so much potential they should have dropped the aspect of the three towers and just made it where you had a floating fortress a city you can go back to or a survival camp but there's nothing here. I mean, you're fighting against the stamina bar the whole time or the hunger bar the whole time. And you don't you don't want to do anything else. You're um, losing a lot of health when you're hit. You're fighting and having to lose stamina. This, uh, you know, you go to an island everywhere you go, except for like in the desert. And I can see that maybe in these red islands. They're, they're kind of like like look like clay, but they're more desert. I can see where they would lack the abundance of sticks. But you walk up to a stick, you give maybe one stick out of this whole thing and a whole you know island you can have like three little trees where you get sticks out of just one that's that's ridiculous there's abundance of rocks okay you know that's all right with me 
but there's nothing at these islands. You might have uh, these little bunnies ha hopping around. You have these little rams that you can get food from. You have these bigger guys that with the big, um, they look like ox, but, you know, I forgot the name of them. But I, I collected a lot of the horns later on in the game. You have the stalkers. You have the, like, the dragon-looking guy or pterodactyl-looking one. But that's it. I mean, that's all you have at these islands. You have rocks, sticks. You might have uh, either wood or bamboo, but you'll get one out of these huge, like, well, not huge trees, but they're medium size. You should get at least, like, maybe five planks. Instead, you're given just one. You're, uh, like, in Breath of the Wild. I've never played it, but I know that there is a lot of this where the tools and stuff would just break in your hand there is too much of that going on in this game also like i said they should have stuck with one idea and went with it but i don't know what they were thinking all right so let's talk about combat combat it was clunky it could have been good the animation the way the uh, characters move and stuff is really good but the camera just you have to hold l2 to actually uh, uh try and hurt you know try and fight these animals that are coming after you and for some reason, like X, you know, in the open world is to jump. But when you're holding L2, X is to dodge. And I, I just, I couldn't get that mechanic in my mind. And it got me frustrated because it got me killed a couple of times where I'm jumping in the air right into someone's attack instead of dodging. I think uh, L2, the combination of holding L2 and circle would have been a lot better. But uh, I don't know, guys. Uh, combat was clunky also. Um, I, I got frustrated quite a few times. I'm like, you know what, forget this game. I was going to uninstall it halfway through, but I was like, okay, I'll stick with it. I don't think there's much left here because there's only five panels, and I was like on panel two or three or something like that. And I was like, okay, I'll go ahead and do it. But combat, was, you know, it does feel good in certain aspects, but the camera fights against you, and instead of tracking the enemies, it kind of just keeps um, hitting in the direction that you were hitting at previously. So you have to constantly let go of L2, Turn your camera, L2 again, and then attack with the square button, which is, you know, I like the square button for this uh, for this attack, but the camera fought against you the whole time and you're doing this combat. It could have been great. It could have been really good. The, the, the bow is really, it feels great the way you pull it and you string, you know, you put your arrow on there and you get ready to loosen, loosen arrow. That feels great. But combat, for the most part, is just clunky because you're just looking to... You know, press, like, in my mind, I don't know, a uh, circle is just the dodge button, so I kept trying to press circle, but I'm missing and stuff, so that's another thing. Uh, combat is just a little bit too clunky, in my opinion. And for a game that focuses so much on being on the water, there is no fishing. It's like, uh, okay, you can throw your sling and hit a fish if you want to. You can do an arrow, which I started doing later on. I do a lot of the arrow attacks. I started doing that. So um, it just, you know, for a game that's always on the water, you were never fishing. So I was like, oh, there's another missed thing. That's what I was hoping for. You can actually dive into the water, your survivalist kind of situation. But it kind of just it's missed the mark in that as well. You um, progress this, the story. There's five different panels. Now, if you've watched the uh, Disney uh, Hercules, they have this similar mosaic kind of uh, paintings and stuff but in hercules they animate it they make it look wonderful all you do is just reveal in this game all you do is reveal this mosaic this um art and that's it that's what i say there's no there may maybe there's three or four different grunts that the girl actually does i'm highly disappointed because i was playing crystal chronicles and uh, last campfire the last campfire blew me away I gave that a 9 out of 10. I came to this game. I'm like, what in the world is this? $39.99 for this game? No way. Wait for this to be on a deep discount. $4.99 at the most $7.99. Because I just cannot recommend this game the way it is. And like I said, I wanted to love it. I wanted to love it because of the art style and the, the premise. But like I showed you, the end of the game is just, you just sail off into the, into the sun. That's it. That's all there is. And that's it. You, that's all you have. You, you light these towers, the same little uh, animation, the same noise it makes, the same sound effects. It's just nothing there. Yeah, it's pretty cool when you get the glider, but you're, what are you using the glider for? You just glide down the tower to the, your ship and get the heck out of there because there's nothing to do here. Randomly generated, they should have maybe gone with more of a static approach where they put different islands in different places with more more of everything more um maybe they should have just dropped the survivalist part of that out of it and gone with a different direction and like 
just you know making it static where you can go back to your camp uh, you're exploring different islands you get more and more resources because that's what makes this game fun uh, you just crafting and stuff it's so cool I like that and when I started crafting stuff that are more and more down the road you get like these um, poisonous little bombs you can like um, sling at enemies you get these cool arrows and the spear ancestral spear it was pretty cool they had something here but they completely missed the mark and yes guys this is definitely not a game that i would recommend you playing at this state they need to make a huge upgrade a huge update and even then i'll be very cautious like i said 4.99 5.99 is the most that i'd pay for this game and i said 7.99 but i thought about it i was like no that's 5.99 that's the most that you can pay for this game. This is a game I wanted to love, and maybe it's my fault because my expectations going into this were a lot higher than I thought. I wanted to go underwater. I wanted to go exploring. I wanted to go and like, you know, get resources from the coral reef, from different animals. There is one point, it just, it just game just does not make sense any any capacity. You travel through these um, alternate universe to get to the next area, which is just I don't know it doesn't make any sense later on it turns out to be some sort of kraken looking thing but you know traversing through this little area which you know the the combat speed no there's not combat the uh, the the wind and everything picks up you're flying down you know through the water all of a sudden I saw like I, I, what I thought I saw, I saw it for a split second I was like was that a hammerhead shark that tried to attack me the mechanics are so cheap you're sailing along later on you run into these jellyfish and the jellyfish absolutely do damage to your, um, your boat now it wouldn't be a problem if you were given more resources every time you go to gather you get more so that you don't have to worry about one plank which is very valuable in this game one plank to repair so and then uh, later on um, you have these crab these crabsters I think they call them are jumping on your ship or your boat and they're doing all sorts of damage i'm like this is such a this is so cheap tactic this uh, should have never been in there or if they do don't let like i said the resources the gathering should have been a lot higher numbers a lot qu higher quantity so what can i say guys this is definitely not it's not even a it's not even an average game this is a below average game especially in today's market with everything that you have you know available at your disposal sound effects and oh another thing sound design what in the world are you guys thinking i mean all you can hear is just chopping of wood okay that's fine you're running around in grass okay you pick up or you actually can't hear it when you pick up rocks but the only time you hear music is when you're out in the ocean and it's like um okay it just doesn't really make any sense and you have to kind of be farther off than the shore and that's when the music picks up and it actually is really good sound i love the music but it, <laughs> it doesn't make sense that you really play it when you're out in the ocean. I guess they wanted to make a, a big emphasis on, you know, being on the wind, um, being free. I absolutely loved the way I did it. This cinematic where I'm turning the camera and, uh, you know, I was so afraid I was going to fall off my boat. I was like, I better be careful because knowing this game, I'd probably fall. When you started building up your boat, it was like, oh, this is so cool. You have places to uh, place all your stuff. This should have been like a floating fortress or a little home base. They missed their opportunity. Oh, man. I can't say that enough. I wanted to love this game, but no, nothing is worth it. I mean, you, you can... You, I got the uh, pre-orders uh, outfit, the ancestral outfit, which changes her hair color from white to black. But, oh, man, it's just... It's not worth the time at the point that it is right now. I've, I've basically showed you the whole game. The beginning, you fall, you know, you're shipwrecked. The last, you fly through the, uh, you know, Kraken and his baby comes out, comes to life from these shells. And it's like, okay, I mean, you're leaving it up to, to interpretation, but it's not very well done, uh, the storyline. And then you find your people and you sail off into the sunset the end happy 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 and it's beautifully done at the end i had to get that to them the design the way they did it it's beautiful but yeah yeah there, there's nothing here there's nothing here so guys that's my review for windbound i hope you guys enjoyed my honesty i really wanted to love this game but i just have to be honest with you guys this is um this missed the mark like i said this could have been selling you know like moby dick you know style of uh storyline it's like um, Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves was lacking so much 
content. You just go and collect one thing and you bring it back. But the thing is, in Sea of Thieves, at least you had like different clans you can go to. This, there's no one else. It's just you. There's nothing else. It's just the little animals here and there. They do regenerate after the net, like the following day. When you know, if you stay at night at a sh at an island. But I was just, I was wore out. I was like, come on, man. This. This could have been something absolutely spectacular, but you guys, it could never leave the kiddie pool. You had to keep it under constant supervision. This missed the mark. So and there it is, guys. Uh, four out of ten. Horrible. Horribly ex executed. But, um, you know, some things are done really well. Art design is wonderful. The end credits, the rolling scenes, that was pretty cool. But everything else is just left into interpretation from these, like, murals on the wall. And it's like, uh-huh. Doesn't make any sense. Uh, and every once in a while you have these like text pop up and you can't really see them in certain backgrounds and stuff so yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed it um hopefully you guys uh haven't played it or maybe saved yourself a little bit of money by watching this review and uh if the developers ever watch this uh i have been critical but i think i've been spot on with uh, the things i've pointed out all right guys well i'm life for god and i will see you in the next video i'm signing out now i will see you when i see you